Did you ever encounter this kind of problem while saving vector art as Illustrator EPS 10? You can see this is not a vector graphic anymore but a raster image. Do you know how does this happen? Let me explain this to you. Whenever you create a shadow for any graphics like this one, you take the ellipse tool and create an oval shape. Send it back by right clicking the mouse, then go to arrange and send to back. Add black and white gradient into it. Make it reverse. Now press G on the keyboard to activate the gradient tool. Drag the gradient handle in this way. Then press ALT and drag this gradient spherical point. Now to hide the white border in the gradient, go to gradient setting panel and make the white color opacity 0. And change the blend mode to multiply to merge the gradient colors with the background layer. Now the shadow is absolutely matching with graphics as well as background. If I delete these two raster shadows and then press ALT and drag this shadow and put on the blue and grey backgrounds, the color matches nicely. Once I save this as EPS, and select Illustrator 10 EPS version and checkmark compatible gradient and gradient mass printing and save. The shadow will lose vector nature. Let me close the file and then again I will open it. You can see the shadow oval shape is no more a vector art, rather it becomes a raster image. So let's find out how to solve this problem. First, let's understand why this problem happens. When I change the opacity of white color in the gradient to zero, as well as I change the blend mode from normal to multiply, the transparency nature of the white color in the gradient in that oval shape vector is creating this problem. However, EPS 10 does support transparency nature in vector art, but differently. So let's proceed with solution now. I have already deleted the raster shadows. Now instead of drawing an oval shape for shadow, I will draw a circle. Then apply the black and white gradient, make it reverse. And change the blending mode to multiply. Send this back. And now I will press ALT and click the top anchor point and drag like this and make an oval shape from the circle. Then drag the oval shadow art to other vector art by pressing ALT and drag. Now make all the white colors opacity 0. Now again I will save the file as EPS 10 version and close it.
Now open it again and see. The oval gradient is still a vector art. It is not a raster image. You can change the position of the color in the gradient. You can change the color also. Now let's understand how this is still a vector and not rasterized like earlier. Look at the opacity of the white color. It is no more zero that I made earlier. Now look at the transparency panel. There is a clipping mask which was not there. If I press ALT and click the mask, we can see a mask with black and white radial gradient has been created. As we all know that white mask reveals and black mask hides. The same theory is applied here. The white in the center is revealing the gradient shadow which is black and the black color around the mask hides the white from the oval shadow. And that is how the white color opacity 0 is intact without changing the opacity from the opacity option. What changes actually we did? Instead of drawing an oval shape for shadow, we draw a circle. And we do not change the shape of gradient. We change the shape of the vector art, that is the circle and make it oval. Along with that shape changes, the gradient shape is also changed without touching it. So this is how you can create a shadow with gradient and variable opacity and intact the vector nature of the graphics. Now what is EPS 10? If you feel you need more detailed knowledge about EPS and Illustrator, you can go through this article released by Envato Tuts Plus. I will share the link in the description for you. In the very first paragraph, the importance of EPS 10 is mentioned. Please read this article to understand the history of encapsulated postscript, flattening and other things about EPS 10 as well as do's and don'ts of EPS 10. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching my video. Have a wonderful day. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification button to get notified of every new content. Bye bye. By the way, did you know this? If I press Ctrl Spacebar and left click in the mouse and hold it, it will smoothly zoom in. And if I press Alt, Control Alt, Spacebar, and then left click, this will smoothly zoom out. Just press Control Spacebar and click and hold the mouse, zoom in, Control Spacebar, Alt. Click and hold the mouse, smooth zoom out.